Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be looking at parallel parking, something that along with every other maneuver on the driving test in the UK and just in general is a little bit tricky especially when you're new to driving and even if you've been driving for a while uh, it can be something you can struggle with so today we're going to be looking at a few tips to help you out and see if we can make it a bit easier for you either on the driving test or just in life in general. Keep in mind that parallel parking is very dependent on your car. Different cars will steer at different angles and be able to move in different ways, so you have to practice with your own car. What I show you today in my little Seat is gonna be different to what you might use in your Fiesta, in your BMW, in your Audi, whatever. If you're on the test, the key here to passing with this maneuver is observation. So constantly looking around, checking your mirrors and not just staring in your left door mirror, which will fail you on all of the maneuvers, not just the parallel parking. Keep in mind that on the driving test in the UK, you'll have around two car lengths to park your car in. It's not like the real world where you may need to park in between two tightly spaced cars or anything like that. Remember also that when you're parallel parking, just keep the speed down, especially when you're learning, uh, and keep the observation. Check that you're not getting too close to the car next to you. Check that no one's creeping up on you. Just keep looking around uh, and just take your time. Don't let people rush you. When you move up alongside the car you're going to be parking behind, you don't want to be too close and you don't want to be too far away from the car. You want to be about half a car's width away from the car. So it's about two or three feet away, uh, maybe a little bit more, but not too far out into the road and not too close to the car so that you're scraping it, touching it, uh, because that will get you majors. If you're on the other side of the road, then that'll be a bit dangerous too. So. You'll work out the distance, and it does depend on your car too. Depends on how much your car can steer, all that sort of thing. So you're gonna have to get out there and go practice, but a good estimate, half a car's width. Remember before you move off, you know the drill. Left to right shoulder checks over your left shoulder, left mirror, reverse mirror, right mirror, and over your right shoulder. It's gonna, you're gonna have to do this before you stop, change direction before you move off. It's the standard drill by now, um, and every driving instructor will tell you this. You've got to get this into the routine on the driving test. It's helpful in the real world too, but you'll work out your own way when you actually get driving. Remember, whilst doing this maneuver, to keep the car as slow as you can. Bring it up to the binding point with a little bit of throttle. You're not going to need any more than that, and you're not going to have to release the clutch up fully during this maneuver at all. So, when you first start the maneuver and the examiner tells you that you can begin, have a standard full check from left to right and indicate if you believe there's anyone around. Pull away and pull up to the car next to the one you'll be parking behind. So that you're around half a car's width away and with your front aligned with the furthest away end of that car, either the front or back. Get the car stopped and into reverse gear. Get the handbrake on and have a good all around check to make sure no one is creeping up on you. Get a little bit of throttle and the biting point and reverse slowly backwards until the back of your car clears the car you'll be parking next to by a small amount. If you have to, stop, do another full check, get your biting point again and do one full turn to the left. Creep back as slow as you can whilst checking all around and not staring in your left door mirror. Creep backwards at the biting point until you can begin to see the curb very roughly aligning with the back wheel arch of your car in the mirror. This bit will take practice as it's different per car, but you'll begin to know when to turn for yours. Cover the brake as if the road has a lot of camber, you may gain more speed than you expect and you need to keep the speed of the car low here. Once the curb is getting closer, get two full turns of the steering in the opposite direction, which will be right in the UK, to straighten the car up. Make sure you're around half a foot to a foot away from the curb and no further than two car lengths away from the car in front. Quickly get the steering wheel straight with one turn to the left and you are pretty much done. Remember that if you are driving too far away from the curb, you will need to steer a little more to the left. And if you are driving too close, then a little more to the right. Be smooth with your steering and adjust in small increments. Remember too that if the examiner goes quiet once you think you are done, you could potentially be too far away from the curb or the car in front of you, but don't get too close. If you are too far away from the curb and the car in front of you, do another quick check around you and then just turn towards the curb slightly and closer to the car in front. The examiner will let you know when you've done well. If you find yourself in a panic and way off where you should be, don't worry. Have a check around, indicate if you need to and simply restart the maneuver. There is nothing wrong with trying again just to be safe and it wouldn't hurt to explain what you were doing to the examiner too. Alright, thank you so much for watching the video. Good luck to any of you taking your driving test soon and let me know what you would like to see covered in future videos. Drive safe and I'll see you in the next one.